Hi, this is Lynn Suzek with The Video Church. Um, I am doing somewhat of a refresher today on faith is like that. It's kind of like from the song by Avril Lavigne. Life's like that. Faith's like that. Okay, Jesus did a lot of what is faith like parables um, and he used farmers and seeds and um, I Jesus did a lot of uh, parables and I I think that um, it's not fully understood all of them but I feel that um, his parables were how faith works I, I learned that by I Charles Capps is a really good teacher on that he he used to be a farmer He's deceased now, Charles Capps, but he used to be a farmer, and he, there's a lot to be learned through farming and faith, and um, so he pointed that out, and um, now I want to talk about the things that you can learn through mo more modern day things, and especially certain movies that help us understand faith, because even though they don't know, they probably don't know that's what they were doing. I really feel like God flows through um, movie makers sometimes. Of course, Satan does too, right? But um, in the case of The Matrix, okay, um, there's, I know Curry Blake has a, a an awesome parable uh, teaching about The Matrix and faith. I learned a lot from that one too. Now, the reason I want to talk about it is because it's so encouraging to know that you might not get it the first time. Why faith sometimes, your faith can be, um, can work on something and not on something else. Uh, and I'm the biggest fan of learning and teaching on that because I'm still in a wheelchair and I don't like it but I don't believe God wants me in this chair I don't think he likes it at all and yet uh, why isn't my faith working for this is the question but I teach on faith and see things happen all the time so you probably are thinking the same thing about your life if you've made it to the level of believing that you can speak and things can happen God wants us to speak um, what we believe that things are done according to our faith um, whatever you say you can have you can have what whatever you say um, Kenneth Hagin Kenneth Copeland teach on that and yet it sometimes happens and sometimes it doesn't and that's according to our ability to believe if you can believe Jesus said so faith is like the matrix if you've watched the movie um, Keanu, Keanu Reeves he is Neo I think and he he's learning about how you go from I'm not going to explain the movie, but for those of you who have watched it, you'll know he he makes this jump that is impossible and the natural to make from for anybody. And they they're watching him from back in the whatever the real world is, and they're like watching, and they're like nobody makes it the first time. When you learn, it's kind of like that with. The, have a cold or the flu um, bronchitis they used to have bronchitis every year in January right not good especially with the condition that I presently have been dealing with for 30 years 33 34 years Par paralysis which uh, also affects my it, it, my breathing is is compromised well, it has been. I mean, it's probably way better than it ever used to be now. Than, and I'm, you know, gaining 
ground, as I say. Uh, I'm way healthier and way more able than I realize. And um, back to the scene in the Matrix. Um, he's learning what he can do by realizing that he's in his mind like a dream and that anything he can do anything and he starts to learn that well it's the same is true with what people you know refer to as we are in the dominion life that God wants us to dominate the world he, we as human beings are meant to dominate and to tell our bodies what to do tell things what to do um, Quantum Faith is a book by Annette Caps that talks about how there's scientific study that shows that what you think, what you believe, can affect things around you. And um, this is all faith. This is just what we call faith. So we, we call it supernatural, but it's really actual, physical effect of what you believe on things around you. Your life is directed like the rudder of a ship directs a ship. Uh, the tongue directs our life. That's in James chapter 1, I think. And so what we say, coming from what we believe, uh, saying is helpful all by itself. Saying the right things, controlling your, your mouth and not saying I'm going to get sick and here comes the flu and that is a huge help that's like 50% when I taught my kids when we taught our children to stop cursing themselves on, by accident I mean our life changed so much um, and whether or not they all fully understand or believe what we've taught them now that they're, they're adults they have really seen the health because of not accidentally believing and cursing yourself and, and believing that you're gonna be sick they've seen people have people have watched my husband and I stay healthy through a bunch of stuff and they are a lot of people are being affected by our teaching and and uh, um, our example okay so um this matrix what it what it helps me realize is that when we started in faith like my husband would get really upset because he'd still get sick at times I mean we've all gone through our when we're teaching somebody and they start to apply their faith and then they get sick anyway and we we're like the, the two that are behind the screen looking at them like, yeah, nobody really makes it the first time. <laughs> the first time you try to apply your faith, it can work and it cannot. And then the next time it can work and it cannot. And it's, even though you realize and you believe that you could prevent yourself from ever getting sick again, the fear, the old thinking comes back, the natural mind, the carnal thinking, faith in experience, it, it's, it's pretty strong and it's like controlling your uh, belief is where it's at, where God is bringing us to, um, to be able to do what we need to do on this earth in this life praying over people we have plenty of miracles that we've experienced and other people raising the dead I mean I haven't raised the dead yet but uh, I'm definitely down for that <laughs> you might say I, I hope I never have to but I would I'm prepared like you know I've thought and imagined somebody dies in front of me I'm right there it happened in the church we were at um, another person that teaches us in faith or I've been taught from was there at the down in the front a man older gentleman still with us he died a heart attack or something 
right there and this other you know few people that believe you know had really strong belief you know were like speaking to him get up I don't know what they said but life is good enough get up you know come back you know believing just believing he came back within I don't know I don't remember the story we weren't there at the at that time we heard about it we weren't there at uh, that's on that Sunday it's like we miss a Sunday and somebody gets raised from the dead well it happened and he's still with us and from what I know um, I mean that I, that I would have done the same thing because naturally now I believe for that supernaturally I'm naturally supernatural so um, I know how it's done and I'm prepared and I'm ready I hope I mean I've done I've done I have prayed for people at it from a distance because I know that's possible and it hasn't it has never happened but I know I totally believe in it to the point where I wrote a book called um, it's just published called um, undercover miracle team it's like full of miracles and it kind of teaches you how to I'm gonna say it's like a how-to book of miracles but it's a fiction story yet you, you know you experience these miracles by reading the book each one is different they happened to either myself and Mark we we experienced them or a family member or Curry Blake or Andrew Womack these things happened and there's many more and that I could make a whole series I'm kind of hoping to do that so hope this video isn't too long now I uh, hope I don't have any trouble uploading it but anyway fates like that that's how it is um, don't be discouraged if it's not working every with everything and keep believing I believe I'm feeling things different going on I believe I'm headed towards moving things I, sh I I'm not I, I haven't been able to move and uh, any minute now and I feel you know the ability I feel things coming back sensation coming back into my legs and my hands at times I'm just looking for that you know breakthrough keep applying your faith and keep believing because it's gonna happen amen see you next time